beginning it was just a rhythm problem with my heart, but I never realized that I was in heart failure. When I was at home, I was dealing with a lot of fatigue. I wasn't sleeping really good. You know, I knew things weren't quite right. I actually came into the hospital here for a visit at the clinic there, and he referred me over to the heart failure team, and I, it really didn't hit home right then. Like I said, I didn't realize my heart was in heart failure. Greg, first of all, I think he's just a phenomenal person. He's fun, he's funny, he is energetic beyond anything I expected, and just a, a great person to, to get to know as a person and to be able to take care of. I felt very, very comfortable by the time Dr. Smith and Dr. Nichols left the room. I just, it was like I had weight lifted off my shoulders. I just knew that I was in good hands. Doctor said, yeah, your heart's failing, you know, we need to do something. So Dr. Smith gave me the options of what, what were possible, you know, things that we could do to correct the problem. We really wanted to try and get him to transplant. So we met Greg when he was super sick. Unfortunately, his journey with heart failure had been going on for a while brought him in and our first hope was, okay, hey, no problem. We'll put him on these IV medications to help his heart. We'll get it a little stronger. We'll get him a little stronger, put him on the list. We'll find him a heart. It just didn't happen. At one point, I just felt like I wanted to almost give up. But as long as I can be here on this earth and, and uh, spend time with my grandkids, I'm good without the fight the willpower, I'd be pushing up daisies right now. <laughs> the total artificial heart was gonna be a way to get him mobile and to get him home. It really is used to allow the patients to recover their function, recover their muscle mass, their nutrition, and get healthier while safely waiting for a transplant that may be longer in coming. We want him up, running around, causing trouble, playing with the grandkids, doing all the things he can do. <laughs> That's the whole point. I would have been lucky to be alive for another day or two. I didn't have much time left in that heart. We got it out just in time. My feeling now is I'm gonna live every day to the fullest, like it's gonna be my last day. Whatever it is that I can do, spend time with them, they mean everything, everything to me. People identify their heart as, as almost like the seed of their soul. It's a lot to lose that and to know that that's not there. And to watch his confidence and his health and his energy return has been fantastic. And it's really inspiring. I mean, this is why we do this. This is why the whole team does this, because we wanna give patients back the lives that they want to lead. Like I told Dr. Smith, none of this is impossible without her. And her team, I wouldn't be here. I absolutely wouldn't be here without her and her team. It's been a long journey and just blessed to be here. God's got other plans for me. <laughs>